So then there's this. This is the meter socket. I'll show you what it looks like from the business side of it. But uh, on this side of it, I had to uh, do that knockout. And this is where the PVC fitting is going to go. And what works out really nice, I don't know if you have one of these things, but a Dremel with one of these abrasive discs works out really nice. So I fire it up and I whittle away a little here and a little bit there and a little bit here and a little bit here and you don't need one of these knockout punches which are really nice, don't get me wrong but I think you end up with a cleaner cut if you can take the time and use the knockout punch because when you cut it all the way through it just falls right out and it works pretty good um, on the, the business end of her This is what it looks like. The inside of the meter socket, I'm going to be feeding this from underground so I get the blank hub on the top, hub H-U-B, and this cover goes in like so and latches down. So inside we've got our one, two, three, three phase line terminals and here's our load terminals neutral and that's for the grounding electrode should know the difference grounding means it goes to the grounding electrode conductor which then goes to the grounding rods I'll show you that when I do the job it'll go in the trench the reason why it's called grounding is because it grounds the grounded which is the white wire and that's this terminal here here is your line it comes in from the street so it'll and I guess I'll work it around from the street, so I'll work it around to the line side. And the line, line, and line again. And then, uh, well, I guess from the street's going to be down here. This goes nipple and through the building, what was I thinking? So, yeah, I'll have to punch out another one. Well, I guess I'll, I think I'll punch out on this side. That way I can bring them around, around this way to the top. It won't interfere with the bypass handle. You've got to have the bypass handle so that way when the power company goes to disconnect the meter, they can do so with it not being under load. So this bypass, maybe you can see those little, yeah, you can see those little switch contacts right in here. They're breaking and making all three of them. So now, when the power company goes to pull this meter out, they can do so and then switch the building off without having a load spark when they draw the meter out. It's called hot sequencing. With a hot sequence, you don't have to put a hand hole, so they have to cut the wires. So hot sequencing with the bypass arm is what we're doing here. Um, so I guess I'll punch out. I guess that one next. Let me think about it. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. Anyway, there's the meter socket.